What's up guys? Welcome to my brand new channel Techie Setup. My name is Lawrence and we're going to be discussing all about technology including product reviews and tutorials. We're firing up this channel with the review of the Samsung Odyssey G9 monitor. Stay tuned if you want to find out more about it. This 32x9 240Hz 1ms monitor is the king of all ultra-wide monitors, not only because of its size and speed, but also because of the high display curve. First, when unboxing it, you will see the super sci-fi design of the back. It's covered in glossy white and the center part looks like a reactor and can be customized with different lights. In the box we will find a glossy stand which by the way has a removable cover where you can hide the cables. Neat trick here from Samsung and also you will find the three cables for power, USB and display port. If you already have an ultra wide 34 inch monitor the difference will look like this. This is a big monitor that will take up a lot of your desk space and is comparable to two 27 inch displays side by side minus the black bezel between them. As far as specs go, this seems to be the perfect combination of speed and size for a greater immersion. It's dual QHD 1440p 240Hz with 1000R curvature is really game changing. Actually for me, it's the closest thing to VR, well without the VR. This is mainly because the screen is so curved and takes a good amount of your peripheral view. Samsung claims this monitor matches the curve of the human eyes. What it translates to is less strain on your eyes and it also means your eyes will be at the same distance from each part of the screen. This also helps with viewing angles, as this is not an IPS screen, it's a VA panel. VA panels have lower viewing angles compared to IPS screens, but I did not find this to be an issue with this monitor. In fact, compared to my Alienware 34 inch IPS, this has even better blacks and also great colors, without the clouding effect you can usually find in an IPS screen. You will get used to this curved display very easy and you will not look back. The immersion in games will make you think you are in fact playing a totally new game. Images on the sides are not that stretched as you would think, they are just a little closer to you in game and make part of the peripheral vision. I was talking earlier about the back of this monitor. They have these cables covered that just pops over the ports, by the way this has two display ports and one HDMI, so you can use multiple sources connected to it. The reactor LED lights on the back, called the Infinity Core Lighting System, are not that powerful so they are not going to light your room. But they are a nice addition, especially since they are customizable from the menu, with either fixed colors, pulsating or even a rainbow mode. There is also a headphone support which folds in the stand, but not really sure who will use it, as it's not that accessible, maybe it was better to have it placed on one of the sides. Let's talk about gaming performance, because most of the buyers will be gamers. This screen does support G-Sync and FreeSync, and it has various tweaking settings from the menu like Adaptive Sync and Overdrive modes. For me, being able to see more of the game world was incredible and I highly recommend it, as it will add to the game awareness. In FPS games, it can give you a competitive edge and you can also tweak the field of view to your liking to balance the new aspect ratio with what you see on screen. With its very high resolution and refresh rate, you will have to make sure you have a powerful machine to run it. The resolution has almost as many pixels as a 4K display, so a GTX 1080 Ti, like I have, would be the minimum recommended. In fact, it's recommended to have an RTX 2000 or 3000 GPU to run it at 240Hz as these cards also support DSC for data compression. The monitor is limited to 120Hz with the GTX 1080 Ti card. So I will show you how multiple games perform on this 49 inch at 1440p. You will have to take into consideration though that not every game supports an ultra wide resolution, but most of the new games have it. Besides gaming, this monitor would really be a choice to use in any scenario even if you are a programmer with multiple windows opened, or while video editing with an infinite timeline, or if you have picture-in-picture -picture mode activated, where you can have several sources on screen at the same time. I did not run into the usual issues reported by other users on the forums, like the bezel not being glued properly, which allows light to leak through a gap in the frame, or clicking popping from the plastic case when warming up, neither dead pixels. Maybe it's because I have a July 2020 unit or so it seems from the serial number and maybe Samsung has addressed some of the issues or had better quality control checks. I could not test the 240Hz refresh rate with my card, but games run battery smooth. Now, moving on to the cons. I did encounter the HDR flickering in some games, but for me this is not a deal breaker as I don't really use the HDR mode for gaming. It can be solved by turning adaptive sync off and tweaking the response time. There is also some ghosting present, but nothing major and it's expected from a VA panel. I hope this is being addressed in the next firmware upgrades and I will be testing that also in the next video. Speaking of HDR, this QLED screen has 1000 nits peak brightness and HDR10 to help you see all the details in the clouds without being blown out. HDR content does look awesome. Light bleeding is a non-issue on this monitor, as you can see in pitch black is barely noticeable. 
In the menu we have also multiple color modes for each type of game and they really do look great so you can test by yourself and pick the one you like most depending on the content. Ok guys, to wrap this up we must also talk about the price. It is expensive as it comes at 1500 euros but you can get it on sale at a few hundred less. If you can afford it, this is really the most impressive tech I've used this year and is hands down the monitor to buy right now. It has a huge 49 inch 1440p screen with a very high refresh rate, the design is out of this world, the immersiveness you get from the high curve is really unique and it will definitely upgrade your gaming and overall PC experience. Thank you guys for watching and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe. Also if you have any questions hit me up in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe.